Alright. So, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Doug. Hi. Um, I'm currently just sitting over UC Berkeley. I don't go to college myself, but I know a lot of the students that do. I myself am an anti-bullshit hippie. I ain't got time for none of that jackass bullshit the politicians and the pigs are trying to spew my way, so I'm over here. Just sitting. Enjoy my day. Hold on, look at the sky. Sun's just coming up. Also, uh, I kind of had a, a f there's a lot of lot of issues that face society, the community of Earth today, just all around. I wanted to address a few in one short one, just this video. Um, first of all, I want to hit the ground running. Suicide. A lot of people don't necessarily understand why someone decides they want to kill themselves. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll be straight up with you. I've, I've, I've seen the bodies drop, die, and fly in front of me. I've, had, I've lost a lot of friends to suicide, people I've gotten to know over the years. I'll straight up tell you why. They're hurt. Simple as that. I've, I've known the most kind-hearted, good people. I knew this woman in Venice. I found her about a couple days. I think of, I, I reminisce often, but it was... I've, it's, 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 things are a lot more clear for me in life. I've, I've found a lot of solidarity inside myself, a lot of peace, a lot of questions I've answered personally. And uh, suicide is painless as the song goes by Johnny Mandel. Uh, it, it brings on many changes and I just as much as any of you can take or leave our lives as we please to or not. I really don't have time to judge shit. I either know or I don't. I know that suicide is simply taking one's life and we're gonna lose it anyways. Once I'm done with my life, I'll be taking my forever dirt nap, maybe here, maybe somewhere else. I really don't fucking know. I really don't fucking care. Another thing, religion or religious bigotry all around. Fuck that. I personally won't, but I don't judge. I, I've dealt with too many religious bigots and just bigots and jackasses all around in my life, segregation. Another one of those things, blow it up your fucking ass. But like peace and love too, motherfucker. A lot of the societal problems stem from ignorant jackasses who, 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 who's, who's inner, si inner self, inner child, inner self-conscious is very much so mortally wounded. I heavily recommend, I'm a big advocate for mental health all around. Just, just awareness and understanding of it. My mother was a very smart woman. She taught me a lot about mental health. I was very grateful for her and my old man. Doug, Stephanie, I really hope wherever you are that you're living your best life. I sure as hell am. Or I feel like I am. Therefore, I am or whatever the fuck. I've gotten into it. I've gotten into my own personal way of living. Bohemian hippie shit. I've enjoyed it. And anyone out there who wishes to take a walk in the wild, so I also, also wanted to address for a few more issues, but for any of those who wish to do whatever they please, just like the cheesy fucking Nike commercial, believe me, once you just do it, once you just take off. I, I, I'm actually going to tell y'all a story in this video. When I was, I, at one point in my life, I, I found myself in Pasadena, I wandered north of it. Uh, around that area was an area, northwestern territory of the Los Angeles National Forest. Eaton Canyon Falls. It's a big spot in my life. I used to sleep to the water, next to the waterfall out there. Breathtaking. I starved myself for about a month by choice. I wanted a complete detox, plus I lost a shit, lost a shit ton of weight. About, about 100 pounds. I just drank straight out of the waterfall, became one with some Mother Earth and Father Time again. It was a whole experience for me about, this was just, in this particular story, this was a month endeavor, but a couple weeks in, I woke up, or I, I measured sunrises and sunsets. I completely lost track of a, of a, of a ticker or a clock or a timer, but this was just before the sun came up, <laughs> like it is now, except like a couple hours four. Uh, an hour is 3,600 seconds. 60 times 60, 3,600. So I, I just like count one, two. It's a lot, a lot of things more, a lot, a lot more simple. However, I woke up to this overpowering 
smell of shit in the morning. It was not mine. <laughs> I went outside. There was a couple baby black bears sitting about 10 feet from my tent. And a big shit neither one of them could have taken. Just next to mine. Or just a few feet from my tent that I was staying at. I don't usually use tents anymore. I got good wind, heat, cold resistance, whatever. So I can just sleep like this on the ground. Um, but I woke up. Walked outside, saw the bears, saw the hmm. bear couldn't make it, these bears couldn't make a shit that big, then it clicked, oh shit, these, and then I turned around right as, I believe it was their mom, it was a big bear, defending them, and it got up in my face, so what I did, I popped it right in the middle of the fucking nose, full force, just woke up too, and we stared at each other, it, it, it fell on its ass, Oof. but then got back up. And what I did, I just stared it down. Kept, kept, kept in attack position. I started backing up slowly. I understood that it was a creature just doing its own thing just as much as I was doing my own. Once it knew I wasn't the one to attack, once it knew that I wasn't afraid, it stopped growling, calmed down. I kept pacing backwards. And I eventually, I just turned around and walked away. And it's, I've, I'm very glad to tell these stories. I've done a lot of reminiscing and really all I have time for. If you want to be a jackass or if you want to put a hole in my head, shut the fuck up. Just do it. I'll straight up put the barrel of your fucking gun to your head if you eat. Or I'll just straight up knock it out your fucking hand and use it against you. I'm a military boy. Son of an E3 officer in the army, motherfucker. I know what war is. That's another one of the topics when I, I wanted to address war. It's not what you think it is. Hell is a lot more decent than war, in my opinion, and here's how I figure. War. Actually, hell. Let's start with that. Hell, just the unforgivables. Just the sinners, tormenting, burning for eternity. War is everybody. Every single person. Whether or not you're part of a nation going to war, a civilian or a soldier, a politician or a pig, everybody. Every fucking person is affected by the hellfires of war, whether or not you're on the battlefield, directly or not. It, there's still war going on. I'd really like to talk to you, Vladimir. I'd give you a lot of perspective. You'd probably give me some of yours. And before you go start labeling him whatever the fuck you want to in the media, bitch, he's another human being, ain't he? I understand sociology. I could straight up talk to this fucker. We'd be out of Ukraine in a few days. Maybe. I don't know. However, I'm just chilling right now. And that's really all I got time to do no more. But war. Like I said, hell is decent. War. Fuck war, it's a drag. Sugar, you want a shag or what? I, I love y'all. I hope y'all have a good rest of y'all day. Um, I wanna, I'm gonna be posting more videos. And today is gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be a collaborative day. Hopefully. And I hope to talk to y'all later. I'll see y'all later. We'll use a camera. But anyone on the other side of the camera, I hope, has a good rest of their life or some shit. Peace and love.